I work from HAXL. So um, this video we're going to master the basic differentiation, okay? So differentiation is a must-learn topic uh, in math studies, math center level, and also math higher level. So uh, you might get confused like why we need to learn differentiation and what does it mean? And you usually like see many like difficult terms like derivative and then y prime dy over dx so uh, i'll explain it all to you in this like um, five minutes video and then after that you understand all the concept and you'll be able to work it out yourself yeah and also work on the ib exam questions so what why we need to learn differentiation because um in the past we have learned like y equals uh, mx plus c y equals 3x plus 5 for example right so oh, it's a bit light right now. So y equals to 3x plus 5. So if I ask you to find a slope of the straight line, right? So we'll be able to tell this m is equal to 3, yeah? y is equal to 3x plus 5, m is equal to 3. The slope is equal to 3, right? But what if I give you y equal to 3x squared plus 5x plus 6? So we'll have like a curve. So at every point, we'll have like different slope, yeah? So this is like downward sloping. And at this point, we have like upward sloping. So that's the reason why we need to learn derivative, or you can say differentiation. We need to find the gradient of the curve. Yeah. So for application question, they will ask you like find the rate of change of something. So rate of change. Whenever you see this word, that means differentiation. Yeah. So just the wording, and also like the gradient of the tangent. So what does it mean by tangent? Tangent that means the straight line that is attached to the curve. Right, so this straight line, you can see that. So we have a tangent here. And also we have we can have another tangent here. So tangent, that means like touching at one point, right? So touching at the point, on, like a lying uh, on the curve, right? So this all means differentiation. So whenever you see this kind of word that in your, in your mind, you have to come up with differentiation. And differentiation simple, you can write it in three ways. F prime of x, y prime and then dy over dx f prime of x right we have a dot right here and the way you work out for derivative is very simple just need to apply the simple rule that right that i teach you right now okay you can see like on your textbook or like on your data booklet they will usually give you a very complicated equation right here like uh, axn and then you have like all the simple you can ignore all, all that so i'll teach you a very simple way just need to memorize the way i teach you right now multiply power and power minus one power minus one okay so let me give you one example y equals to 4x cubed yeah so I want to differentiate this you can write dy over dx or you can y uh, you can write y prime so multiply power you put the power down x power 3 so we'll keep the same same thing here keep the power uh, put the power down and then x and then power minus 1 is 2 4 times 3 is 12 and then x squared right it's just just that simple this you finish the differentiation and how about we look at y equals to 4x so y equals to 4x that means like x is power 1 right here y prime we can put the power down and then power minus 1 1 minus 1 so 4x power 0 so x power 0 it will be just equal to 4 that's it easy right so let us do more examples so more example you can see that f x equals to 4x squared so this time we're given f x so how do you write because we don't have y right right now, we we cannot write dy over dx. We cannot write like y prime. Then we have to write f prime of x. Yeah. So we multiply power. Just follow the same rule. Multiply power and then power minus one. So that will be just one. So eight x. That is how you differentiate the equation. Very easy. And question B. Y prime is equal to, or you can write dy over dx. We keep the five and then power. You multiply here and then power minus one. One. Uh, 1 over 5 minus 1, so that will be 5 over 5, so minus 1, 5 over 5, minus 4 over 5, right? So simplify that, x minus 4 over 5, yeah, that's it. And how about fx equals to 10x? Very simple, f prime of x equals to 10x. So this is just 1, so I mean fx equals 10x, so you multiply 1 here, and then x, 1 minus 1 is 0, and this is just 10x squared. So 10x power is 0, so that would be just 1 here, yeah? Okay, differentiation of constant is extremely easy, yeah? So what does it mean by fx equals to 6? If you draw a diagram, that means y is equal to 6, yeah? So we have a horizontal line. So whenever you have a horizontal line, when it, whenever you're asked to differentiate a constant, that is always equal to, the slope is always equal to 0, right? So that's why f prime of x is always equal to 0 for this equation. Okay?
So we get that, right? So let me move on to uh, next type of questions. So like on your textbook, you also see like the next chapter differentiate, uh, differentiation of polynomials. So you see like this complicated terms, polynomials differentiation. So what does that mean? So that means just differentiate differentiating like more than one term. For example, this is what we call the polynomials. So you can just write y prime. So you're actually applying the same technique. Okay, so it's extremely easy. So two and then uh, you multiply it by the power and then power minus one, right? And then minus seven. So this we multiply the power and then power minus one and then minus one. Yeah, so two times three, it will be just six x squared and then minus 14 x and then minus one. So that is how we differentiate the polynomials. So let me do one more question for you. So question D, yeah? So y is equal to x squared plus 3x minus 5. So differentiation of the polynomials, just differentiate this like separately, yeah? So we multiply by the power, and then power minus 1, plus this one we multiply by the power, and then power minus 1, 1 minus 1, right? So that will be 0. So then finally, we'll have 2x plus 3, okay? Because x power 0 is just 1. So that's it. So this is... Um, just uh, just that so differentiation of the polynomials and of course next time if you want to learn more like composite function like how to differentiate with bracket yeah so by using the chain rule and also we have like uh, the turning point and also inflection point if you want to learn all that you can just sign up at the link below for uh, like uh, in, in the description box and you can check out the link and for Hong Kong students, you can always sign up um, like trial lesson at our center. So I hope to see you next time at our center. Yeah.